and the Lord God said, somebody say, God said, Adam did not say. <laughs> Adam was not knocking. God, I've been faithful. You know, sometimes when people pray, especially you Christians, you threaten God. Lord, I've been keeping myself. See that my classmates, 17 abortions. Now she already has three children. Who's serving God help? <laughs> Who are you threatening? The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. All this is. Calm down. Be calming down. He can't be threatened. Have you realized that tears does not threaten him? Threat does not threaten him. Nothing threatens him. He's just waiting for you to catch up. Please give me what radio frequencies do you have in this city? 347. 93.7. Ah, let's run an experiment. My dear sister, please come. <laughs> Regular God of God. Hey, glory to God. It's not you I'm dancing for, it's Jesus. Bring your phone, bring your phone. Bring your phone. Do you think 93.7 is broadcasting now? It's broadcasting now. I can't hear 93.7. There's a radio app on this phone, I guess, right? I can't hear it. Is there a problem with the phone? Is there a problem with 93.7? What's the problem? It's not tuned. Stand here and give a one-hour lecture on why 93.7 is a useless station. It doesn't affect their broadcast. They will still be broadcasting to those who are tuned. A lot of times what happens is that we are trying to vilify a God who is not moved by our vilification. So we are here making our case and stating our case. And he's just being God where he is. Nothing wrong with the phone. Nothing wrong with the station. They simply do not connect. And whose responsibility is it to connect to the station? God bless you. Thank you, sir. Now, God came to Adam and said, Ah, Adam, oh boy. You're still single. After all I told you. Ah, Adam is dying. Now the hell is dying. Godina was alive. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make who will make. Who will make? Why are you trying to drag that foolish boy into your life and forcing him to understand the concept of speaking in tongues? It's not you. <laughs> who will make? You know, some people are trying to mold the husband for themselves. His first name is Luke. His last name is Warm. <laughs> They're trying to mold him. They're literally dragging him. You know, he doesn't really pray. Now, like, does he pray? He doesn't know prayer. He's still wondering what you're doing. Why are you making noise? You know, some guys will ask you, is God there? Why are you shouting? My dear sister, you get what I'm saying? Are you sure? Are you sure? You get what I'm saying? Super fly. And the Lord God said, It's not good. I will make him a help. Me. Somebody say, Help. Yeah. Somebody say, Help. Yeah. You know, some brothers don't have say so. God said, Somebody come and help you. I carry liability. A lady that you cannot define how she will help you is not a help me. <laughs> ah. Some ladies are just looking for poverty alleviator. Somebody has saved them of all the failures of their father. Their father gave them experiences they cannot repeat in a husband. So when men are coming, what they are looking at is their pocket, not their destiny. I check their size. What is godly? Understanding the concept that God holds. Now, just like me, I, I think all of you would assume that the next thing that will happen is that Adam will just see a beautiful girl. Because God says, no good, I'll make him. This is the kind of thing that I give you a word tonight. Divine orchestration in the name of Jesus. God is arranging you. God is fixing you. There you go. <laughs> So in your mind, the moment you just come out the next day out of your door, somebody just be walking by the streets. 
or driving in the bends, then mistakenly splashing water. Ah, they say, Oh, sorry. I'm so Come, let's add drama. Come, come, come. Do you have a boyfriend in this church? Okay. Do you have somebody in your life? Not yet. Look at her. Are you born again? Yes. Do you speak in tongues? Yes. Let's test it. <laughs> Paul said, I will pray in understanding and I will pray in the spirit. That means I will. Ralagaba. <laughs> Ralagadagada. Brothers, are you watching? Double <laughs> again. Pray it on some more. Louder, louder. Lambra, let us feel your tongue. Thank you. We are not finished. How long have you been born again? 14. 40 years! 40 years! Are you a member of this church? Ah, use the mic, use the mic. God lie! That means Zoe, 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 Zoe. This life that I have is the life of God. Hey! God lie! Zele, gele, gele, gele. Which other question? Tongues, God life, 14 years. See why? Some brothers are just behaving like mumu. <laughs> see, see woman. See wife material. 72 yards. <laughs> How many clothes? <laughs> Here's the deal. So a lot of sisters or brothers, you receive such prophecy. Then you think that the next day, Somebody just be driving on your street. The splashy one. Oh, sorry. African magic. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm going to fly you to London and change your wardrobe. Even your look is full of lack of faith. <laughs> Give me my microphone. Go and sit down. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Praise God. Let us see what God did to Adam. You know this our father, eh? He's not sentimental at all. He's God. Verse 19. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field. How many of you have received such a word of prophecy in church? And you go out there and see beasts. <laughs> I wish God just stopped at creating. This guy, Adam, wait first. Let me quickly make these animals. That's not it though. God made animals and brought them to <laughs> Adam does over. Hey! From every beast of the field and every fowl of the earth and brought them to Adam to see what he will call them. God brought some people your way to name them. You are dating them. God brought some people for naming, but you are dating. Hmm. Why? They came right after your prophecy. So you thought every person that comes after prophecy is the one. So you have heartbreaks that you think is God's fault. No, you move too fast. Yeah. And brought them to Adam to see what he will call them. And whatever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Are you understanding English? Please, if you can, switch to the NLT from verse 20. Switch to the NLT if you, if you got the translation. Let's go to verse 20 in the NLT. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> he gave names to all livestock or birds of the sky and all wild animals, but still there was no helper just right for him. In essence, what made Adam not pick them was not just their form or their structure. It was that there was no help found in them. So before Adam named each of them, Adam did a help check. Is there anything you know that is strong enough to help you check? Because when people come your way, it's not about their looks. If you go to First Peter 3, it's so clear 
that my dear sister, your beauty should not just be the adornment of the wearing of rings and braiding of hair and wearing of gold apparel, but of that inward man of the spirit, of a gentle and a quiet spirit. So Adam was running a help check. How can you help me? God gave me a prototype before you showed up. Do you look like the picture? There's a picture in my mind. And, you know, I tell people, you know that good old song, or let me say, good old secular song. I'm walking away from the animals in my life. I'm walking away from the beast in my life. There's no beauty and the beast in this kingdom. There's an Adam and an Eve. There's a helper and a person on purpose. Those things are lies. What we do to a beast is to walk away from them. Is to name them for what they are. If you are afraid to call people what they are, you will embrace what you should never embrace. Because some people look good, but they are good looking disaster. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something that is not a lie. 